If you're a SaaS agency or a business that runs on high level, I'm going to show you how to translate your entire website for free in just three clicks without having to rewrite any of the content, create new pages, or even have to hire somebody to do this for you. This is great if you're going after clients internationally or you're going after a specific niche or demographic that speaks a different language and you want to make sure that you present a website on the language that they're most comfortable with. With that, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you this very cool tool that you can use for free. All right, so there's three ways that I'm going to show you how to do this. The first is how to add it as an inline element anywhere on your website. The second will be how to add it as a floating element. And I'm going to show you how to do this even if you have the chat widget to make sure they don't overlap. And last, I'm going to show you how to do this even if you have 20 or 30 pages on your website so that with one click, you're able to do this and translate your entire website very easily. I'm going to be doing this on my SaaS agency template, but you can follow along for your agency or your business website. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to be using this website translation widget I'm gonna leave the link of this widget in the description so you can just click there and it will be taken to this page right here so you can create your own translation widget as well there's a few options that I'm gonna go through right here now here we have like different properties such as the language that you're gonna translate the website from in this case let's say that I wanted to translate my website to Spanish Portuguese and Mandarin what I could do is just literally find the languages right here Portuguese and then Chinese here you see that I have the flag style set as 2D and this is what it looks like. But if I was to click this right here and I hit update preview, you see how the style is different. Now, something to mention before I go any further is that there's different options here that you can play around with. I'm just going to be using the float for now, but on your own time, you can just play around and have different options. All right. So for the alternative flags, this is cool because let's say you're in the States and you want to make it so that the English language will not have the UK flag, but instead have the US flag. That's where you'll be able to click this right here. And it's the same case for other languages. Let's say that I was a SaaS agency that I'm going to resell go ahead level in Mexico. I want to make it so that the flag for Spanish will not be Spain, but Mexico. So I'll just click this right here. For now, we're going to make it so that it's in line and we're going to go ahead and copy this code, go back to high level and we can paste it anywhere on the site. So for the inline element, let's say I wanted to add it so that it's here at the bottom on my footer. What I could do is just literally add a new element right here. I'm going to be adding a code element. So I'll just drag it and drop it right here. I'm going to click in the open code editor and paste the code just like that. I'll hit save and preview to just show you kind of like what this looks like. So here I am on the preview of my SaaS website. Right now, everything is in English. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom here to the footer, you will now see this button right here. It looks okay for now. Later in the video, I'm going to show you how to fix it so that it looks a little bit better. But you can see that if I click this right here, I'll have different languages that I can click from. So let's say for our Spanish, I know some Spanish. I see like, okay, I can see the different elements right here. Get paid without hassle in just four clicks. You're business on autopilot so it's just a quick way to translate your website now the problem here is that this looks a little bit odd i want to make it so that it's just somewhere nice where no matter where i am on the website i'll have that option to translate so that's what i'm going to show you how to do right now we'll go back to the website where we can create the widget and instead of making it so that it's in line there's a few different options that we can select from let's say i want to make it so that it's at the bottom right i'll click this right here you see that the code changed a bit i can go ahead and copy this and then update the code element right here and you'll see what this does in just a sec but for now let's just hit save and preview the website I am on my website but the problem that you may notice right now is that the chat widget is overlapping with the translation widget of course I could make it so that instead of having it be at the bottom right I can have it at the top right or somewhere else but I want to keep it in the same place just so I don't have different buttons everywhere which can be distracting and the way that you can do this on high level is by using code in order to get this to work we also need to change this from bottom right back to inline so what I'll do right now is copy this code right here go back to high level click on this code right here open the code editor and then go ahead and change the code right here hit save and now we're going to add some style to the CSS right here if you haven't added any code this will be blank in my case I've already added some other effects so I'm just going to open up some space for myself right here and if we go back here we see that the name of the class again is g translate underscore wrapper so I'll just add this very quickly right here and then let me just go ahead and write some code and explain to you what that is in just a sec you don't need to worry 
worry too much about this, but basically what this piece of code is saying is that we're making it so that the button will be at the bottom right, but it'll also just be 10% above the bottom. So let me just hit save and preview to show you kind of like what this looks like. So if I refresh right here, you'll see that now the widget is a little bit further up from the chat widget. So no matter if I'm translating the website right here and then I want to start a conversation right here, they don't overlap. What's cool is that even the chat widget gets translated. So even if a prospect was navigating the website in a different language and they wanted to get in touch, even the chat widget right here would show the form and the actual questions in their preferred language. Now, of course, at any point, if you wanted to add more languages or make any changes right here, you could totally do so. So let's say I wanted to change the icons right here and I wanted to add like another language. Maybe I wanted to add French. What I would do is again, update the code, go ahead and copy this right here, go back to the website editor and then just replace this right here, hit save, and then we can go ahead and preview and show you what that looks like. As I was mentioning, I know some Spanish and the translations are pretty decent, especially because of the fact that this is free. However, if I was to go to a different language, I can vouch if for instance, in Mandarin, the translation is great, but it's a great tool that you can use very quickly to translate your websites. Now, let's say that I wanted to go to a different menu item. Let's say I go to pricing right here. The problem is that I do not see the widget to change change the language. So I'm going to show you how to make it so that you don't need to do what I just show you, which is creating this right here for every single page in order for you to have the translation widget and instead just adding it to your entire website in just one click. So the first thing that I'm going to do is click on this custom CSS right here, cut all of this right here, which is the positioning, hit save, and we're going to be adding it in the custom code right here. And you'll see why in just a sec. So let me just open up some space for myself right here. If I was to paste it right here, it wouldn't work. I need to specify what this is. In this case, this is the style. So in this case, I'll just write style here before the styling. And then after I finish, I'll do this and add this forward slash right here. Now that I have this, what I can do is cut this entire thing delete this element. And of course, right now, if I was to preview the website, because I've deleted that piece of code, I wouldn't have the chat widget, but we're going to make it so that I add it globally to the entire website without me having to manually add it to the footer of every page. So to do this, let's go back here and we'll go to settings here where it says body tracking code. We'll go ahead and paste what we just added before. So here you see that I have the actual translation widget. And afterwards we have the styling that we gave it. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now if I was to preview the website, let's say I was to preview the pricing page right here, you would see that the chat widget would be right here. For instance, let's say if I go to the features page right here, not only would you see that the page is quickly translated, but the chat widget is there. So this is great if you have 20, 30 pages and you want to make sure that you have this translation widget in every page for the user to be able to change the language no matter where they are on the website. That's how you can create a multilingual site on high level for free in just three clicks and make it so that you can have a more global presence and go after specific niches or demographics in your business.